so hello and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here by the way kindly consider subscribing down below and also tap the post notification bell so that you're alerted every time i upload a new video so uh, my name is kate but i go by the name ktv on youtube so feel free to subscribe and support me on youtube uh, also make sure that you like this video and give it a thumbs up and also comment down below uh, on your um, on what you think about the video and what else you want me to feature on my next videos so on today's video i'm going to discuss uh all the products that you require in your beauty shop um so i want to talk uh to people that want to start a business and um i'll tell you for free that a beauty shop is one business never go wrong with um because um a beauty shop is a business that will never go out of season um as much as people that right now are complaining that they don't have money uh, but you will never see a woman going out with the bad or unkempt hair so they will they will sacrifice even 200 shillings to buy braids so that they sell themselves uh look good and um something else that people will never do without is body lotions um some some women can't live without makeup some people cannot live without deodorant some people cannot live without spraying themselves at uh, the body splashes and then, then we have the perfumes we have the hairsprays so i'm talking about a booming business that you will, you will never go wrong with it is never out of season and that is why i want us today to discuss are the products that move very fast in a beauty shop and those products you should never allow yourself to lack them in your beauty shop and if you don't have um a beauty shop and you are looking for a business idea then this is the right video for you because today i'm going to show you why you, you should open a beauty shop as opposed to any other kind of business um that is around you so let's jump right into the video let's discuss the essentials and the products that you must have in a beauty shop so the first product are braids 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 don't ever lack braids in your shop and if you must lack some braids never ever lack number one and number two number one and number two are colors that um many people love and in fact when you will be stocking the braids make sure that you stock a lot of number one in fact you can make number one uh take even 70 percent of all the braids that you're going to buy in the market and that right now um braids go for for, for between from between 50 bob uh to 55 bob wholesale so with a whole sack you will buy the braids at 10000 and that will give you a lot a lot of profit depending on your locality because uh, we have people that buy braids at 50 and then they go and sell them at 60 others go and sell them at 65 and others will go sell them at even 70 shillings so you just study your area and know how much you're going to sell them but something i'm telling you for free don't ever lack bread number one even if you don't have money to buy all other types of bread make sure that number one is always there and even number two so uh the first product you're not supposed to lack in your business are braids weaves crochets and sometimes you can even add wigs because uh, there are some people that don't like uh, doing braids they don't like uh, putting those uh, weaves so they prefer doing cornrows and then they wear the wig so make sure that you have a few wigs because they don't move very fast not that they don't move very fast so you just make sure that you have a lot of braids and um, some crochets and some weaves and make sure that those weaves and crochets the numbers are between uh, one, uh, 100, uh, one three fifty one stroke 350 one stroke 900 and um even 350 sometimes moves but make sure that you look for colors that uh, matches many people so the second product that you should never lack are nice and lovely products now i'm not here to promote nice and lovely products but i have a beauty shop and i sell products from very many companies and customers always tell me i want shampoo that is coming from nice and lovely i want um this body lotion from nice and lovely so have nice and lovely products even though they are very expensive to purchase them so uh they they, they are 
basically they are more expensive than these other products like uh, Amara is a bit cheap and also that reminds me don't lack Amara products in your shop Amara moves like hot cake those lotions the blue lotions that are written Amara for men even women buy them so uh, make sure that you have the uh, the nice and lovely shampoos and um, make sure that you have uh, Amara and uh, some Vaseline, a few of Vaseline and a few of Nivea because most customers will prefer a cheaper product uh, because I believe cocoa butter smells the same and the difference is companies. Uh, but obviously there is some slight, slight, slight um, quality difference. But all the same, some people will just say, Bora ni cocoa butter. So number three, something else you're not supposed to lack in your business are chemicals that uh, people use to, 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 to straighten their hair with. So make sure that you have relaxers. There is a difference between a relaxer and a blowout. So most customers will come to your shop and they will be asking for, I need a blowout, I need a relaxer. So make sure that you buy the cheaper ones because they are the ones that move faster. So the cheaper ones include uh, from companies like Ness and Lovely also and Movit. So Movit, um, for example, the blood from Movit comes at a whole, wholesale price of 75 and you can even sell it at, at um, 90 shillings to 100. Okay, most of the time I sell them between 120 and 130. So it will also depend on your locality, on the amount you're going to set on those products. Make sure number two, you have chemicals and in chemicals we have relaxers and bloat relaxers is for long hair and then bloat is for short hair number three number four rather number one we said we have to have uh, hair braids weaves crochets and wigs with kaizo and then number two we said nice and lovely products where i mentioned are uh, the body lotions the shampoos all that even the the gels they are those that come from nice and lovely number three i've said chemicals which include relaxers and blowouts. And then number four, dice. Dice move like bushfire. Bush, bushfire. So make sure that you have variety of dice because um, there is this notion with customers that if you don't have a variety of products, then you don't have a good shop or you don't have genuine products. Something close to that. So make sure that you have dice that come from uh, different companies and the most um, the, the dice that move faster include the black shampoo, then you have the black rose, we have Subaru, they move very, very fast, and then you have the, the other one that is called the Indian Hena. Uh, there is a blue, there is one that has a, a um, blue stripes, and then um, it has a picture of an Indian, and the same same has another packet with green. So the green one is the original one, and that is what most customers will prefer as opposed to the blue Hena, which is they say it's fake. I don't know about the, the fakeness in it. Um, study your study your customers because most uh, most women of middle age will prefer black dyes and um, the, the young women will prefer blonde. So make sure that when you buy sobar, you buy more, more of uh, copper brown. There is this color called copper brown. There is gold. There is, there is gold coral. There is maroonish. And then there is white. So make sure that you stock all those because they will never lack customers and they move very fast. And then black shampoo obviously is black and it also moves very, very fast. Number six, we have petroleum jellies and the petroleum jellies, they also move. Because when somebody sees that you have a beauty shop, they expect you to have uh, the petroleum jellies. And the ones that will not um, stay in your shop for long are petroleum jellies like Arimis. Then we have Sleeping Baby. Then we have this one that is called Baby Love. <clears throat> so we have Baby Love, we have Vaseline, we have Sleeping uh, sleeping Baby. And then I've mentioned Baby Love. So make sure that you stock on them because they will never also lack customers. Uh, something else that you're supposed to have um, are uh, anti-dandruffs. Because most customers um, would prefer you to sell hair food that contains an anti-dandruff if you know what anti-dandruff means um so most women are disturbed by itching scalp and they will come to your shop specifically looking for something to soothe their hair and those products are always best um they're always in uh hair foods 
and also you have some sprays like the radiant spray it has anti-dandruff you also have the darling spray it also has anti-dandruff but the sprays that contain the anti-dandruff are a bit expensive but um those hair foods that contain anti-dandruff are a bit cheap for example you have the baby love the green one it's a bit cheap. You, you, the wholesale price is around 30 shillings. You can sell it at between 45 and 50 depending on your locality. Okay? Now, something else that you're supposed to stock. Number eight. Are Roland's perfumes, body splashes, all those, and deodorants. So, uh, the Roland's that uh, I, I've studied and those ones that move faster in my beauty shop are the Rexona Rollons and the Nivea Rollons. Then there is this other one that is called, um, I can't remember the name, I don't know if it is Faye or it starts with letter F. Now, those ones move, so make sure that you stock on Rollons, uh, stock on Body Splash, and I told you in my previous video that the best um, Body Splash to stock is the bigger one, the Body Splash. Uh, customers will see that it will stay for longer than the smaller one and the difference between the two in prices in retail is 100 shillings so the customer will prefer a bigger body splash as compared to a smaller one um, and that all, all also makes sense something else that is booming 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 and are still we are still talking about roll-ons body splash and perfumes something that you should note is make sure that you have the perfume refill because there is a difference between those ones, the perfumes that are refilled and those ones that are already packed. So the perfume refill business is one booming business in the market. And I've done a different video talking about the perfume refill business. It is the most profitable business in the whole of that beauty shop. Even in my shop, it is the one that gives me more profit as even, even compared to the braids. So something else that you're supposed to, uh, to, to stock, number eight, are glycerins. And they range, we have the nice and lovely glycerins, we have uh, the aloe vera glycerins, and we have the carrot glycerins. So all those kinds of glycerins should be stocked. Make sure that... Uh... So I had gone for a commercial break, um, but I believe we were at number 10. Now, something else that you're not supposed to lack in your salon are the kids' hair stuff. So the, the, the kids' hair stuff uh, will range from those ones that are used by newborns, like Kunaile, the, the, the band that is worn by um, newborns. And also there are some ones, but they are a bit thinner than those ones of the newborns. So make sure that you also stock uh, the newborn headbands and make sure that you have assorted beads. So most, most baby girls will require pink beads the baby there is this baby pink it's a bit a bit uh, brighter and then you have the hot pink hot pink is the, the the dark pink kind of and also beads range in sizes so make sure that you stock the smaller smaller beads and that packet of beads will give you a lot a lot of profit because you will buy that whole packet at around 100 shillings and it contains over 500 beads so even if you sell them at bob 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 you're going to get 500 shillings that is a profit of 400 shillings and then we have the bigger beads are uh, the ones that ladies put in their braids here the colorless beads so those beads um they are very profitable by the way you will sell only like uh, 30 pieces and the rest will remain as profit uh, yeah. number 11 never ever lack the following items cutex removers nail cutters nail files uh, cuticle removers buffers those ones madame watakujwa kibaingi is of you too so make sure that you stock a lot of uh, those nail nail items so that uh, the customers will not lack them in your shop something else number 12 are the makeup tools and the makeup tools range from foundation primer concealer eyeshadow palettes there is this eye pencil and then there is mascara eyeliners uh pawns and then you have lip gloss we have lip balm we have lipstick and the lipstick customer i need huda i need mate whatever so make sure that you have at least half a dozen of each type of lipstick so that uh, your customers will not lack 
are them in your shop because the moment the customer comes in your shop and lacks like two or three products uh, they will just be saying ah that shop does not have a lot of products Let, let's go and look uh, for them in another shop now something else that you're supposed to have in your shop are combs and the combs must be assorted so we have the afro combs we have the jelly combs we have the um weave combs and sometimes those people that work in the salon will come and tell you that they need the blow dry combs so make sure that you have assorted combs um they also move but not as the, the, they don't move very fast so you can just buy a few like half a dozen of each so um something else that you're supposed to have number 14 are the braid sprays braid sprays include things like uh the olive spray we have the radiant spray those ones the, the the braid sheens that make the the hair shine a bit so they also move very 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 fast another thing is the hair bands and the hair clips or anything accessory that is put in the head you have the the the, the, the hair rings the rings that uh, girls or ladies or women put in their in their braids the ornaments anything that is put in the hair even the the, the big mauas our mama zilas are red yellow black blue those ones make sure you stock them and something else i am i've almost uh, forgotten are the bandanas bandanas go like hot cake so make sure that you also stock them don't forget to stock body lotions i don't know if i had mentioned them but body lotions also move fast okay i remember i mentioned amara nice and lovely those ones so that one i had mentioned something else the last thing um i hope i have not forgotten um so um i'm at number 16 so uh make sure that you stock shampoo conditioners and treatments shampoo conditioner treatments so i told you that make sure you have the nice and lovely shampoos cheaper versions of the shampoo like beula we have um apple fresh so uh those ones are from companies that sell them very cheaply make sure you stock the cheaper shampoos because you will get customers that do not even care of the brand as long as that is a shampoo they are good to go but there are those ones that will just come specifically saying i need nice and lovely shampoo you know those kinds of customers they exist by the way but they are very very few so most of the customers will come and ask for a shampoo a normal shampoo and obviously those ones are cheaper and very very profitable something else uh the last product uh, i hope i've not forgotten everything else are the earrings uh the kaflon earrings the small stud ones that uh, are used to to pierce the ears then have the the ones that are circular the cross ones every type of earring the long ones the, the those ones like that look like buttons so stock all of them in your shop because they also move faster 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 and also we have the chains we have the necklaces the beaded necklaces all that uh, they move very fast so uh that is all i had for you today uh if there is something you want me to clarify on make sure that you comment down below make sure that you subscribe make sure that you like this video because that is how you support uh, my content here on youtube and also gives me the spirit to keep on moving and also keep on producing more and more and more videos. So make sure you stock all those things that I've told you. Even the lashes, by the way, I, I forgot when I mentioned the beauty products. Make sure you have the lashes, um, different kinds of lashes. We have the normal lashes, have 3D, we have 4D, 5D, all your business flourishes when you start. And something else I'm going to talk about next time, if I remember, or if you, 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 you want me to talk about it, is how much it will cost you to start a beauty shop. Because I have not yet compiled the whole capital thing, uh, because uh, you will never buy the beauty products in one shop. It is not possible. It is not possible to buy beauty products in one shop, because you will find, I told you in the other video, that sh some shops will sell hair uh, cheaply as compared to beauty products it is in you know, like hair foods and hair oils and uh, body lotions and this shop that sells body lotions cheaply will sell hairs very expensively so um if you are able to buy directly from the company uh, for example this company that is called movit they sell directly to even small <coughs> they even sell to small 
uh, beauty shops, but they will have to come and ascertain that the shop is running because they, they wouldn't want to do to commit themselves to a shop that is not even there. So when you talk to Movit, even if you'll be buying uh, half a dozen of a product, they will be selling to you at the most, most um, cheap, cheap wholesale prices. So some people will, will sell a, a whole box at a different price as opposed to when they will sell half a dozen. But according to Movit, even half a half, when you buy half a dozen, they will sell it to you at the wholesale price uh, the same way uh, somebody that will buy the whole box will buy uh, at that price. So without uh, talking too much, let me end this video from this point. I hope that you've gotten some tips on how you should start a beauty shop immediately. And um, if you have a, 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 a beauty shop that is existing, now you have the tips on what you're supposed to add maybe. And um, I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Make sure that you like it. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you comment down below. And let me see you on my next video.